square root of 15 plus square root of 21 plus square root of 35 plus square root of 25 upon square root of 3 plus square root of 7 plus square root of 20. How to simplify this? Square root of 15 we can write it as 5 times 3 under square root plus square root of 21 is 7 times 3 under square root plus 35 is 7 times 5 under square root plus 25 is 5 times 5 under square root upon square root of 3 plus square root of 7 plus square root of 20 we can write it as 5 times 4 under square root then a times b is under nth root we can write it as nth root of a times nth root of b so we can write here square root of 5 times square root of 3 plus square root of 7 times square root of 3 plus square root of 7 times square root of 5 plus square root of 5 times square root of 5 upon square root of 3 plus square root of 7 plus square root of 5 times square root of 4. Now here we can take square root of 3 as common. So square root of 3 parenthesis square root of 5 plus square root of 7 plus here we can take square root of 5 as common and write square root of 5 parenthesis square root of 7 plus square root of 5 upon square root of 3 plus square root of 7 plus 4 under square root means 2 times square root of 5 and 2 times square root of 5 we can also write it as square root of 5 plus square root of 5 because when we add square root of 5 plus square root of 5 it will be 2 times square root of 5 now let us take square root of 5 plus square root of 7 as common factor and then square root of 3 plus square root of 5 upon square root of 3 plus square root of 5 we can write plus square root of 7 plus square root of 5. Now let us consider a is equal to square root of 5 plus square root of 7 and b is equal to square root of 3 plus square root of 5. Then we have, let us consider x is equal to a times b, a b upon a plus b or if we write the reciprocal of it, it will be 1 upon x is equal to a plus b upon a b. So, a b is the common denominator or 1 upon x is equal to we can write a upon a b plus b upon a b a and a gets cancelled here b and b gets cancelled or 1 upon x is equal to 1 upon b plus 1 upon a now let's put the value of b b is root 3 plus root 5 so 1 upon root 3 plus root 5 plus 1 upon a is root 5 plus root 7. Now, if we rationalize the denominators, it will be 1 upon root 3 plus root 5 times root 3 minus root 5. So, we are multiplying and dividing it by the conjugate of the denominators. 1 upon x is equal to root 3 minus root 5 upon root 3 square minus root 5 square. Differences of square a plus b times a minus b plus root 5 minus root 7 upon root 5 square minus root 7 square or root 3 minus root 5 upon we remove the roots so 3 minus 5 plus root 5 minus root 7 upon 5 minus 7 so root 3 minus root 5 upon 3 minus 5 is minus 2 plus root 5 minus root 7 minus 2. We multiply and divide it by minus 1. So, it will be root 5 plus root 3 root 5 minus root 3 upon 2 plus root 7 minus root 5 upon 2. Take the LCM. Now, take the LCM. So, root 5 minus root 3 plus root 7 minus root 5. So, square root of 5, square root of 5 gets cancelled. It is square root of 7 minus square root of 3 upon 2. 
so this is 1 upon x is equal to square root of 7 minus square root of 3 upon 2 or x will be 2 upon square root of 7 minus square root of 3 again rationalize the denominator so 2 times square root of 7 plus square root of 3 upon square root of 7 square minus square root of 3 square or 2 times square root of 7 plus square root of 3 upon 7 minus 3 or square root of 7 plus square root of 3 upon 7 minus 3 is 4 or 2 times 2 is 4. So, x is equal to square root of 7 plus square root of 3 upon 2. So, this is our answer. How did you solve it? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.